Okay, depression. You know, it's a massive, massive problem. And uh, most adults, I suppose, during the course of their lives will suffer some depression. Um, chronic depression, obviously, is the most common. Acute is very severe, where you can't even get out of bed. But really, no one really knows what it is. And um, for years and years, the psychiatric profession have been banging on about, you know, chemical imbalances, uh, which is the reason why a whole class of drugs was developed to readdress that balance called the SSRIs. But in fact, they've now discovered that isn't the case, that these um, chemical imbalances are a fiction. No one seems to know what depression is. So um, one study that's come out quite recently, which is interesting, where they are seeing a nutritional factor in depression, and in particular in um, a depletion of uh, an amino acid known as arginine, which is actually found in turkey and chicken, uh, soybeans and peanuts. So I just think with turkey, maybe that's why people feel so good at Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, they, they did a study amongst uh, a, a group of about 100 uh, people with major depressive uh, disorder and found that they were all low in this particular nutrient. And I know it's a subject we've covered on many occasions. And interestingly, with our upcoming April issue, we cover it again. For those of you who are watching the vlogcast as opposed to the, listening to the podcast, Lynn just held up a copy of the magazine, which deals with mood swings. So do you want to tell us a bit more about that and nutritional factors in mental problems? Well, I think what we are discovering is the whole issue of the sick brain, of it being just a, chem a problem of faulty chemistry in the brain, is really simplistic, Brian. Yeah. I mean, what we're discovering more and more is either it's some sort of imbalance in the body, it's a physical type of thing, um, where a person may be uh, an overproducer of copper or have too much histamine, um, and also have inflammation in their body. And that can cause all kinds of incredible upsets that manifest as so-called mental illness, whether it's depression or bipolar or whatever. And so rather than this thinking that, oh, it has something to do with not having enough feel-good chemicals in the brain like serotonin, it has much more to do with being like a recipe with the wrong ingredients in it. I mean, if you think of your body as a cake, it has too much of one ingredient and not enough of another, and that's why it's producing this uh, abnormality in your brain. And for many, many years, um, so-called orthomolecular medicine, um, created by Dr. Carl Pfeiffer in the States, in Princeton, looked at mental illness as being, having this biological cause, this physical cause. And he found when he gave certain supplements or changed people's diets, they got so much better. Mm. And here we have mm. now a specific <laughs> nutrient really demonstrated to have a link with depression. It makes so much sense. Right. 